and we're going to go to the menu and, and show you how you might open a project from version control that is already existing. So I can open from version control here and I then get a select the repository. So in this case, uh, I'm just going to choose subversion and we're going to choose the URL of the repository. And I've just had that in my clipboard and this happens to be pointing at the Rad Studio demos. Uh, uh, and we're going to pull down the VCL examples for C++. And let's just uh, go out and projects and let's create a new folder out here called example two and just hit OK. And what we'll see here is it uh, downloads all the files for the VCL uh, for those specific projects and it'll take a, a second. Obviously this is going out to SourceForge right now um, and uh, downloading those and uh, but you do have a good progress and know exactly uh, what is happening but I wanted this one specifically because our our repository that uh, we deal with um, has many projects and so when I'm setting up a new machine I can use this get the URL and then I get a list of all the projects that's in there so I know which one to open and so in this case, I do get a list, and I can just say, hey, I want to open that one. Um, or I can choose to open uh, uh, the project group that happened to be there. So uh, we'll just open the App Analytics one and, uh, and hit OK. And now I have it open. Uh, if I uh, uh, go to the C++ Analytics right here, um, I can open that up. I can see the history, and I can see that uh, S, uh, Kimball uh, added the C++ version of this file. It obviously was never changed. Uh, if the header, I can also see the same thing. Uh, and this allows us to uh, quickly see um, what's going on, and I haven't done anything special here. Now, obviously, I don't have rights to uh, configure this. So this is a really cool way of ex checking out some open source technologies that are out there. You can just open with the, the repository uh, from version control uh, that's there. So uh, we again we have Git, Mercurial, and Subversion here. Um, one thing to point out is now I have a Subversion um, uh, menu and so you can commit update uh, I can also browse the repository uh, with this, and it is a little different. Um, so if I load this, I now can see everything that's in the repository and what revision is there. I can work myself back up the tree and come to just say C++. Uh, now I can navigate through everything that might be there. And so this is a, a, a version control feature that is very specific to um, Subversion. So there is a, um, uh, the browser uh, functionality that's integrated uh, really well. Um, another uh, uh, thing is, is it still does have update uh, and commit and reverting. Uh, uh, just like uh, uh, we had with, uh, with Git. All right.